Hey guys, Brandon here, and we're going to be reviewing my camera bag, which is a Low Pro Rezo 170. Now, this Rezo bag comes in the different uh, sizes, which are um, which are uh, sorted by their numbers. So the higher the number, the bigger the bag. The smaller the number, the smaller the bag. So I have 170. That's about. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure. I think it's a medium, medium, kind of big size. But um, <clears throat> sorry for that. Uh, I bought this from. Amazon for forty dollars. When I was looking at bags, I first looked at Low Pro because a lot of people recommended the brand, so I got this Low Pro bag. It looks pretty nice. It's sleek. It's simple. It's all black, and it has some really cool features in this bag. It's a really simple bag too. So here's the front of the bag. To load the bag, turn the bag around, and then there's a top zipper right here to load the bag with um, your camera and stuff, your gear. And there's two zippers right here. Well, let's start off with the front of the bag. So this is low pro right there. This is just a sticker I put there. You open this flap up, and then you have a pocket right here, which you can store all your accessories in here. And what I have in here is microfiber, HDMI cable, iClear. Oh, and here are my keys. Wow, I was looking for that. All right, and I got some chapstick, and you put anything in there you want. You have one, two mesh pockets and another pocket right here. But I never store anything in there. You can use SD cards or whatever. I just have all this um, random stuff. And then it's a zipper. You can just zip that back up. That's the front pocket. And it clips at the bottom. Turn it around. And let me see. I'll show you guys this. That's where it says Low Pro Rezo. 170AW. Doubt you guys can see that. Alright, and then, oh, uh, on this side, there's a neoprene pocket, which is very stretchy, as you guys can see. Neoprene pocket right here on the side. On the other side, you, you have a little nylon strap right here. Let's see if you guys can show that. Well, there's a nylon strap right here. And you can put one of Lopro's uh, attachments, like an extra lens carrier. On the back right here, you have a loop right here. I think this is where you put, you can put a belt. You can put this through your belt. And then you got a nice neoprene handle, which is very soft at the top. You can open the bag right here. There's two zippers. And you'll be greeted right away with an SD card holder. This kind of got stuck. And you can store SD cards in it. There's four mesh pockets inside. I have an SD card right there. Inside the bag, you'll have enough space for a couple of items. Let's zoom up in here and show you guys what you can put in here. All right, in the bag, you have one of these. You get two of these actually. Go check out my box, and you guys won't feel like that. And these are removable, and you can place these anywhere in your bag. So that's really nice. I found as a feature. So you can, and then I also have a flash at the bottom of the bag. But it's a pretty decent bag. You can fit a camera, so I'd say a camera, a flash, and one lens, an extra lens. That's what um, you fit in here. And then on the right side of here, there's a little mesh pocket. Cool little feature. I tuck this in because this really gets in the way sometimes. There's a little microfiber on here. You clean the camera with, so it's attached to the bag permanently. And it's on the side of the bag, so it's really nice. <clears throat> Excuse me for that. Um, losing my voice, kind of. And then inside the bag, there's a lot of space in here, so it's a really nice bag. I got it because it's black, sleek, simple. It's not eye popping. It's just a simple camera bag. I can put my T2I in there and a couple extra lenses, depending on. Uh, you can fit a zoom lens in here, telephoto lens in there, and a camera body. But this is pretty much it. I really like the bag. Inside is really soft material. Don't know how to describe it. It's really soft and cushioned. One feature that I really like about this camera, I mean this camera bag that I'm going to show you guys right now, is this little feature right here. Um, you also have an adjustable strap, which is very comfortable. We've also had these beads on the back of the cush, the back of the strap, so it's comfortable. Let me just show you guys the front real quick. You see on the front, this velcro down right here. 
and it says, let's see if you can see this, all weather, all cover, AW cover. So the AW at the end of the uh, 170 means all weather, which I believe if there's an AW at the end of your bag, it has an all weather cover. So as you guys can see, there's a little thingy right here, and this goes around the bag. Let me show you guys that right now. And basically, let's see how this goes. I've done this a couple times, but it's really good uh, when you're in the rain or something. You never know, and you want to protect your equipment. And it's real easy to get on to. It's stretchy, durable material. And this is a really cool feature of the bag. Now you can cover it up and protect it from weather. And on the back, it's your stuff is still, still accessible. Well, not, not really. But there it is. That's one of uh, the features that I really like the most. This all-weather cover protects the whole bag from rain and uh, whatever. But this is it, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the review. And when you're done with it, you just tuck it back in, in there. And you Velcro it shut. Very cool bag, guys. Um, if you want to go check it out, go ahead. Lowpro.com. I bought this off Amazon. Once again, $40. You can get this at Best Buy, too. But it's a pretty simple camera bag. A really nice design. Sleek, simple, and uh, yeah. But thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Obey Brand and signing out. And hope you guys have a great day.